right, so we're in episode 3 here. My idea for the Army of the Mississippi would be rail close to Nashville, while distracting Conrad with a small force so he can't hit Buell's army of the Ohio on his own. Hmm. It might be considered then to potentially have the uh, second call. The issue is if I head out this way, I'm not going to be able to return anytime quickly. We do have rail lines here, but I don't have... Do I have rail lines out this way? Uh, we do not. We have roads. So that's the problem here. Actually, no, we do have a rail line. Yes, we do have a rail line there. Yes, we do. Oh, construct. Hello. Is that an option? Oh, that's intriguing, then. Apparently I can actually construct this. Huh. Oh, yes, I do agree there. <laughs> okay. And uh, the music is pretty fantastic. Hmm. Well, what I'm thinking here, this is the only position where we can actually potentially achieve a victory. Like, I could potentially achieve a victory right here. The interesting aspect of this, I know it seems strange to head further to the west, but the issue about this is, well, the issue we could do here is potentially destroy Union Army in the field, or at least prevent its actual viability. We could then uh, push that somewhat. If I could threaten St. Louis... Oh yes, Cairo is on the map. That might be able to allow us to see the position. Well, it might have the enemy see their position here, perhaps. We do have the ability to construct rail lines, which is really fascinating. Hmm. So I cannot construct one there to the north. Okay, that's something that's quite um, intriguing there. Hmm. Yeah, I wish we had like an overwhelming advantage. Like, we do have an advantage, but not as overwhelming as I would like. The issue is one army against an army is all well and good, but the issue is I can't really achieve a, a victory there unless we actually win big in the field. I'd love to have a second force, or a larger force, potentially, so I can actually engage the enemy in kind, but then advance as well and try to cut them off, that'd be ideal. And that's pretty fascinating that we do have an ability to create rails out here. I mean, from Memphis to Little Rock, and it could actually be we create a, uh, a rail line from Texas, but I don't gain that much from Texas. Yes, we do definitely lack rail lines. <laughs> uh, we are lacking those big boys. Uh, seems that we can c construct rail lines elsewhere. I'm trying to figure out where. It says we've got to control the knots, which is intriguing. So that's like all the actual points, all the nodes is one way of describing it. Man. Hmm. So I do have a rail line from Macon over here to Nashville, it seems. That goes from Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Oh, we don't have Nashville, of course. Let's see. So we do have Warrington here. Is Knoxville mine? Ah, so Knoxville is mine. And we do have the army of the East Tennessee here. We are faced by the 7th Division. So I'm looking at just shy 12,000 men. This is 7,000 men there. Now, I do have rail lines out that way. Huh. 
It could be that we raise a force to potentially enable us to break through here. But the thing is, if we raise forces, the enemy will raise forces as well. They can definitely match and exceed us in terms of men. So if we want something, we need to be able to break through somewhere uh, with the forces we have in the field right now. Uh, definitely should build some rails in Texas. Should help with deployment to increase the speed of your Mexican reinforcement. Hmm. Uh, where's this Earl? Where's this Earl? Which army does he command? Hmm. Of oh, the army of the West. Okay. And it's essentially the only army that we have that isn't. Um, that's army of Mississippi. Where's the uh, Arkansas? Okay. Oh, I see. The issue is our readiness is low right now. So if I can have that readiness actually increase, we'll be good to go. Can we take a look at actually, uh... uh let's see. Army. Hmm. Might be able to take a look at the actual officers in the Army of the West. So that's Army of Virginia. Alright, there we go, we have Army of the West. Yeah, the game just takes a little while to load. <laughs> As we do have Price's Division here. He's actually pretty good. Well, his initiative and leadership is good. He's a superior command of Enterprise. Oh, we have an Indian Brigade here. That's intriguing, man. Pike's Indian Brigade. So he's got superb initiative. His leadership is pretty trash, however. He would be somebody I'd be looking towards replacing there. So he's a Brigadier General. Are these fellows right? Uh, let's see. So all army unassigned. Is there nobody unassigned? Suitable rank. Uh... Is everybody assigned? Can I have something come up? <laughs> something, please? Do I just need to hit all of these until something happens? Um, I'm going to hope they're unassigned. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's see. Hmm. Right. Initiative is passive, inspiring, uh, mediocre administrator, however. Distinguished leader, good administrator. He's predictable. Uh, he's cautious. Well, he he sounds okay, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, at least I can take a look like this. Oh, Mr. Simon's not too bad. He's a good administrator, and administration is not a bad thing to have right now. Walker's looking pretty attractive. 
Oh, that's very attractive there. Samuel's looking pretty good. Inexperienced. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is it. They're only leading some, uh, like an Indian brigade. So, I suppose we could leave, at, uh, leave it as is. I don't think we need a new general, then it seems. Well, a new commander, it seems. So we'll cancel. Oh, this is it. We need to increase their readiness in the field. Oh, we do have Indian territory out here. That's interesting. Huh. Are these tribes? That's intriguing. Hmm. That's actually an intriguing point there. Let's go to military. I wonder if I could actually recruit... I should, in theory, be able to recruit Indian forces for the Army of the West, and that could potentially give us something to work with there. Uh, of course, we need to see how much they actually are. Let's see. Right, the Army of the West. See, I might have to create another division here uh, for Pike. They're equipped with shotguns. That's freaking badass. One second, I just need to lift my chair up. There we go. Yeah, this old chair is certainly on its way out. Shotguns is crazy. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Oh, it's a cavalry brigade, though, that's why. I mean, potentially more cavalry could be quite attractive. Let's see. New army. I want to create a new unit. So let's see. Add new group. Create a call. Create a. Uh, I want to create a division. Hmm. Well, let's see here, then. Yeah, it's, just, it's attached directly to the army. If I say, add new unit, then. So, state formation. Which state is this again? Let me just zoom out, just so I know which state it is. It'd be nice if I could draw it from the actual Indian tribes, actually, but I'm not entirely sure how you go about recruiting them. Okay. Assume I get the music again. That'd be nice. So, that is the state of Arkansas. I remember when I got shouted at once. <laughs> I'm saying Arkansas. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> right, first 700 here. So I don't know how we go about recruiting Indians. Twenty five hundred men there. That's expensive, however. See, that's going to take some time to actually ready, isn't it? I think considering that this is a campaign where we're learning here, it's very early access, <laughs> so things are not going to be up to scratch quite yet. Uh, maybe we do go ahead and try to commit to battle the forces we have. And uh, it'd be nice, I've, never, I've not really played a proper battle, actually. True, but I don't know how you go about doing it. Badass. <laughs> uh, potentially so. We'll take a look at that in the future. See, the issue is our readiness is low. Oh no, actual readiness is uh, deficient. Alright, let's see. Construction. Depot. Fortress. Telegraph. Can we go ahead and build a depot out here? I love how it's on the map. Holy moly, that's cool. I guess build a depot there. Ha! Huh. Cool. Well, I did already have a depot, so that's nice. Do do do. Bum 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 bum. Okay. 
that might give us the time to actually get the riverboat. So I think it's probably preferable to bring the riverboat up this way then. Okay. It would be nice if I could actually see what their orders are from the map there. So we're looking at 50 minutes there. Ish. Or hours, I'm not entirely sure. I think it seems to be hours, actually. Uh, yes, Depot will be fairly helpful in the far west with Pestball Roads and Rail, yeah. Well, that's it. If we could actually try to build up the amount of supply we have in the uh, Army of the West before we actually do go ahead and actually attack, that could be a pretty considerable advantage for us at that moment in time. Uh, we need to win these battles. Somehow. <laughs> Which is pretty obvious there. But you get the idea. Just need any sort of advantage I can get just for that time being. If I can get anything there, at least we can work with that. Uh, so that's going to take some time there. Hmm. My has only taken us just over an hour to actually start playing the game. <laughs> I do like to talk, apparently. Okay, let's see here. Agricultural policy once selected. More support for union farmers. Okay. Union invest in agriculture. Yeah, the map is absolutely fantastic. It definitely makes a massive difference here. The Army of the Mississippi could meet with Kirby Smith at Nashville. Whoops. Hmm, potentially so. Well, we could potentially have second core. It looks like I have... I might build the rails appropriate at this point here. Can I do that? Uh, it does not seem like it. But I could have them march down there. Right, let's see. Have you moved to uh, Chattanooga? Said March Overland to Huntsville, it seems. So let's not do that. Uh, we do have Huntsville over here. Who controls these? Oh, so these are Confederacy, right? That's good news. And that's Confederacy. That's Confederacy. So I can move I can move out via rail, then that's fantastic then. Yeah, so it looks like we can go via rail. Uh we do have Knoxville out here. Right, so I can rail them to Knoxville. That gives us a lot to work with then. Right, okay. We'll go with that then. Right, okay. Use the rail, please. There we go. Allow time to pass on that one, then. So we do see Union invasions here. So that looks to be, like, where they have men. So there men here. You could call them seamen. <laughs> <laughs> I made no apologies for that one. Right, so they're getting ready to move in. Good few days, apparently. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so we have a number of things actually on the go then, which we can work with. I'm not liking the amount of cash flow there. Uh, should be able to manage it, however. We are making our way through government funding too here. Yeah, I mean, the days are going by pretty quick now. We're March 11th already. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, those finances are taking a hit by it. I mean, the AI is auto managing our finances. We should be able to improve our finances soon enough. You can see that it's actually reduced the civil order here to some degree. So that's quite good. So it's actually working with that. Uh, we should be able to manage that. Uh, we have second call moving there at long last. Right, so second core is moving to Knoxville. Yeah, Knoxville is quite good there. Oh, there we go, we can seize London. <laughs> you know what I do love about this part of the US? It's like you have the, you have like uh, Carniff, we have Cairo, we have some pretty interesting names when it actually comes to this area. I mean, you essentially get to what would be uh, essentially little, little, little England, little England out here. So we've got London, Somerset, Munfordville, Bowling Green. I don't know if he's actually English. I'm going to assume Hartford's definitely English. Hertfordshire, yeah. <laughs> or oh, Nashville. I don't know. Stop having names similar to each other. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what are they doing out here? Oh, they're constructing an ironworks for us. Oh, that's superb. It'd be nice if we could actually tell them to actually make ready. Kingston, yep. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye on what's going on here. Hmm. Right, engagement. Department of Virginia is in contact with the Army of the Peninsula uh, of the Peninsula of Army of Virginia. The Department of Virginia is in contact with the Army of the Peninsula of the Army of Virginia. <laughs> that was a bit of a mouthful. And what are your orders there? Play battle or to resolve there? Withdraw, retreat. I don't know what that one is there. Maybe besiege. I've not actually properly fought a battle, but I guess we'll go ahead and we'll fight a battle here then. We're gonna lose. <laughs> we'll see. I would like people to place their bets. Okay. Well, I mean, the Union there fields 4,800 men. We have 12,778. I should be able to win. Hey, didn't I do that? Good to have you, my friend. Right, okay. It's a Begruda. I don't know who that is, but it doesn't sound great. And deploy your forces for battle? Okay, I'm liking it. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Probably so. Our army will vigorously attack the enemy in the region of Virginia. We are facing the Department of Virginia under the command of John E. Wool. We strength for some 5,000 men and zero guns. The enemy army is green and the morale is reported to be eager. I'm like switching between accents here as I'm going out. I need to actually look into how to do a southern accent. And it's still not going to sound great. So I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to try and stick to one accent. I don't even have my own accent, so that's fine. Reports indicate their supply situation is outstanding. <laughs> the supply of our army is outstanding. Well, that's good, then. That's good. Remove most of them to give them a chance. <laughs> right. Okay, that's good, then. At least we have that. Ooh, uh, we are palsy, which is good. Loving the maps. Oh, my God, look at that performance. It is wild. Wild performance there. It's a beautiful map, man. Absolutely beautiful map. That is lovely. Okay. And I, wow, this is going to be such a good game when it's fully developed. So let's take a look over here, Vince. We do have our HQ. We do have here engineering points. Is rather intriguing. The number of points... 
the number of points depends on available time, number, and experience of engineer trained units. Points are consumed by building pontoons, breastworks, or parapets, or by upgrading parapets. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we do have here our supplies. Right. During the night, supply trains resupply our troops. If they have an open line of supply, amount received. Oh, that's so cool. That's so very cool there. Okay, let's take a look at what else we have from HQ. Uh, so we have here the report. Uh, right. Okay, so this is ammunition then, okay. We have here then consolidated overview reports. Right, okay. Uh, be sure to check what side of the map the unit is going from, yes indeed. Uh, so yes, we definitely do have the strength here. Apparently we have the artillery and the enemy does not. That makes a considerable difference there. Are, are they actually lacking guns? If they're lacking guns, this, yeah, so we have 16 guns and there's zero. This should be a pretty easy battle then, considering that. I'll still lose, I guarantee, but we'll see. Right, okay, so close that report. I love how you get the reports like this, it's so cool. And uh, we have here... Huh! Uh, headquarters, Army of the Peninsula. So these are lists of battle objectives. I love how it gives you actual objectives in the battle. That's amazing. So we have Mechanicsville. That's an amazing name. Shady Grove Church, Walnut Grove, Polly Hudley Corner, and Shady Grove Road. <laughs> we have a number of objectives here to the south, which is good to see. Oh, I like how they stay up too. That's cool. Right, Johnson's Field here. Take... So we're in day one of the battle here, the Battle of Cold Harbor. Been only for the seven days. <laughs> right, um, as for which side of the map the Union come from, I don't know. Does that indicate where the Union comes from? Uh, possibly. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right. It is going to be quite impressive. Uh, let's see then. I love how it actually gives you the idea. You have no idea. Right, okay. That's good to know then. Horse store. Okay, let's take a look at our forces here then. There's a small blue arrow on the uh, side right, bottom. Oh yes, you are right there. Or is it a river? It could be a river. Uh, we're not too sure there. But there is an arrow, isn't there? Maybe that does indicate that's where they're coming from. We don't see arrows anywhere else. That might actually... Yeah, yeah, I see what you're on about now. Uh, we do have that there. Let's see. And that's red. So, yeah, there we go. So that looks to be where the enemy is going to be approaching from. Oh, fantastic. Well spotted there, Luke. Well spotted. Okay, let's... Uh, can I orientate the map here? Like, can I orientate? Nope. Nope, can't seem to orientate. That'd be nice. That's the supply route, okay. Let's take a look at what we have here, then. Can I? No, I was hoping I could orientate. Uh, right, so we have a number of barrels. These are our supply. Oh, that's their supply situation, okay. Can I... Do I drag them? How do How do we do this? Oh, I can actually deploy them, okay. Okay. Let's give it a view, then. Whoops. Oh, I can. I can. Oh, superb. Right, let's see then. So we have... Can I... Right, select you. Just move you there for the time being then. Let's just get them off the edge of the map. So if I select Magruder... Right, so that's Magruder... No, that's Tombs Division. Oh, I love how you can do this. That's so good. That... Right, there we go. So that generally does make things significantly easy for us. Holy moly. Ah, oh, thank God for that. So do I actually deploy and have that objective to begin with? Then that's fantastic. Hmm. Well, we do have an advantage here to work with, in, and that is the uh, the numbers we have of men employed here. Yeah, a real cold harbor, the Union came from there and got caught up on the ridges north of the uh, Bigger River, if I remember correctly. Uh, we all remember there were three odd battles here. Okay, that's cool. Well, we have a rough idea where the enemy is actually coming from, so that gives us something to work with. I love that. So we have the Shady Grove Church fan. Okay. So let's take a look at how we want to do this then, guys. So we have here... Well, we have the artillery here, which is incredibly important. 
Uh, so this is McClaw's, McClaw's, not McClaw's, McClaw's division there. And we do have a Tombs division here. So Tombs division. It'd be nice if I had like an OOB here, so I can actually select it. So it's currently listed as indecisive. Let's see, can I grab you? Let me grab you. God damn it, let me grab you. Tomb, you son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, not too sure on that one. I think maybe. So I could potentially have tombs deployed, but then again, there's no point heading this way, is there? The enemy is going to be approaching from all this way uh, down here. They've got some distance to travel there. But I do want to make sure, I mean, that's actually something to consider here, is that we do have the actual opening here in the in the river, it seems. So we have that potentially there. But then we might want to actually push on here and try and box the enemy in and use the artillery to potentially piecemeal them. I'd rather take an engagement here because I could actually use my artillery on the other side of the river to engage the enemy in an open field. Uh, we have the advantage here of the number of men, but I, I need the advantage of position too. That would be ideal there. Hmm... Right, anybody, any feelings here? If they are houses, I think, okay. And then we actually have the arm in the peninsula command here, okay. Well, what we might want to do then is potentially march down different roads here and see what actually befalls us. We do have McLaws over here. And McLaws could actually be uh, deployed over this end quite easily. I could look then to position myself. And I think we do want to move into the actual uh, objective here. So this is the Walnut Grove. We could move towards the harbour here, to New Cold Harbour. Uh, we do have the ridges over here, actually, so that is what must have been discussed. I think that is a very important position to take control of. If I could mount the artillery here, we'd actually have that. And we have Gaines Mill over here, which is very important. And that is... Yeah, that seems to be the area that we do head for. And so I could have the majority of the actual army of the peninsula head to this point over here to do Cold Harbour. We do have Old Cold Harbour over here, which we could potentially have the second division march this way. I don't want to potentially... I don't really want to have the 2nd Division engage. Uh, let us see. How big is the 2nd Division here? Do I get a number of men? I, I don't want to select your bloody supplies. Right, there we go. I've got to turn off. Okay. So I have 4,800 men, which is a significant number of men. That's essentially the uh, size of the enemy force, which is nice. Okay. So they're in line formation right now. What I'm going to do is actually have them. And I've got to bear in mind that they can actually deploy themselves as well. Right. What I'm going to do then is actually have them um, deploy along the road. Uh, they'd obviously turn themselves there. Supply is going to be a difficult situation, but then again, two brigades could actually hold that pretty significantly uh, dense terrain out here in terms of like forest. I think, yeah, I think we'll go like that. I think what I want to do then is essentially march in uh, travel formation, perhaps. I want to get to this position here quickly. Now, the guns are going to be extremely important here. So I do have McLaws Brigade here. Right, let's have our forces made ready to travel in column. So march columns. There we go. So I do have here Cobb's Brigade. Cobb's Brigade is currently in cover. They have the Enfield Rifle. We have Mississippi Rifle, which is actually a considerably important weapon there for us in this battle. It's a small brigade, only 1,500 men, but they are... A, oh, that's a Springfield musket, sorry. Uh, 2,000 men there. Ammunition 60. Supported commander. That's a good weapon. Oh, very quick with sharpshooters here, apparently. Yeah, sharpshooters one. Our company men of this unit are hand picked marksmen, increasing the accuracy of this unit's fire. That's pretty important. Right, so what we need to do here then is essentially have the men given orders. I could potentially have a brigade to move to this position uh, and secure. I think we need to move out here to secure these objectives. So I might actually have a brigade make its way. Oh, is this just deployment? So I have to give them orders after the fact then. Okay, that's something to bear in mind then. It might be that I actually have them. Yeah, it's going to take some... We're going to have to essentially move through here anyway, aren't we? So what we'll do then is deploy upon the roads. I don't have any roads down here. Is there a road through here? No, it's just a stream there. I tell you, this game is going to be awesome when it comes out. Uh, so let's see then. We'll have our forces deployed as we wish to engage the enemy. So they're given the Enfield musket. I'm not entirely sure of the capability of the musket. 400 yard, uh, yard range. Three rounds a minute. 
Uh, the Mississippi rifle here, 2.5 rounds a minute, has 500 yard range. These fellows over here. Is it going to show me? These fellows over here with a uh, Griffiths Brigade, 250 yard range, 2.5 rounds a minute. And we have the Enfield rifle, 3 rounds a minute. Okay. Uh, so we have the range over here with the 500 yards, so that's good to know. So what we'll do here then is have this brigade deployed along the road. So 2,000 men, 1,000 men, 2,500 men actually. Uh, 1,500 men. Enfield and Enfield, or oh, Enfield and Springfield, okay. What is the range of these actual respective? 400 yards. Show me the weapon. 250 yards. Jesus. That is terribly, terribly low range. But it'll do. Right, we'll go like this then. So deployed here. I do need the artillery to move very, very quickly. Uh, we need to look for the road that'll lead there. So we're going to have them actually head on here too. This is where you want to have, like, horse cannon, isn't it, essentially. So they're ready on the roads there. Right, so we have that, but we do have our actual army command here, the Army of the Peninsula. Um, I think we'd have to entrust the brigades over here. Fuck my life. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's annoying. Okay. We can, we can fix it. Fuck's sake. <laughs> March comes, please. Right, there you go. That was a lot of fun there. And I don't want to have you in that formation. Columns, you fool. Right, columns it is. I remember your guns are six pounders, but that's it. They're not heavy, well, tremendously heavy guns, but even six pounders will still make a considerable difference. I might just have the force to deploy like that. I mean, I'd like to have them on the roads, uh, but I'm get asses on the roads, and then we'll just start the battle in a moment. Okay, don't move you. <laughs> and we'll be okay. Uh, so we do have build there. What would I even want to build there? That's the question. So I could have a breastwork or I could have a parapet. I don't think we need the, uh, the uh, well, the fortifications. Right, press play to end the deployment phase. So we'll end deployment phase. Uh, I think we're playing. Yes, the game has begun. Okay, let's go ahead and issue our orders now. Let's see events. So we have AI stance here. Defend attack, okay. Uh, we have here formation, we have infantry. Infantry, long range, right, okay. So we have a number of different options over here then. Uh, we have our commander, we have movement. So commander, allow initiative, detach. Oh, let's see if I can have him return uh, detached. The distraction unit will operate briefly, sorry, it will operate by itself and is removed from a higher level formation. Okay, not particularly great. Uh, yes, this will eventually be on YouTube. It will eventually be on YouTube indeed. What we're going to be doing then is essentially taking uh, the ridge line over here if we could aim for that. So what we'll do then is we'll issue these orders. Can I issue orders to these fellows? Right, that's issued orders to them so they'll begin to move there. Uh, uh, so move it signal be nice but what we could do then is have one of them march to the objective here i do have 2400 men uh they're essentially the same size units we equip there and oh, we have the mississippi rifle which is superb right so they're going to march this way and then we'll have a march over that way okay can i have them march that way we'll have them giving orders to move that way then and we'll take that objective and march further. Okay. What I'm going to do then is we do have the Mississippi rifle. I do have the Enfield rifle musket. This is only 1,500 men. So I'm going to have them told to march this way. Right, there we go. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, well, 
That's it, isn't it? I might have the two brigades headed this way then. So at least then they're working together. Um, I could do a securing a objective there. So we'll have a second brigade march this way then. And we'll have our forces move up to here for the time being. They'll have their orders given. We'll allow them to get to their positions and then go from there, really. Have the artillery begin to move up this way. Uh, well, actually saying that... Um, yeah, we'll have the artillery move with the majority of the men. Uh, have McClaw. Fuck. Or maybe we'll just have them all moved up. Hmm. That... Might be an idea, just go for it like that, and just move as a, as a single formation rather than split it up, really. I think that might be the way to go, actually. Yeah, at least then we keep our strength together. I think what we need to do is march towards this area. This area is superb for what we want there, but that's where we want to be. Uh, we'll aim to be around about here, then, if we can. Okay. Yeah, we'll aim for that. Okay. Right, and we'll have the game go on. It'd be nice to hear some music in all honesty, but that's fine. We'll have the game go. I may have to start playing some music in uh, the background of the future. But it's nice to actually see the uh, the game in motion here, really, to actually have a battle. So, this is going to be the end of episode, I think it's free. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it.